Well, when I was growing up, I, my family had a beautiful property. It actually didn't belong to us, it belonged to my grandfather, but um, it's a beautiful property just outside of Enfield. And there were hours and hours of every day just wandering around the landscape, like exploring with my brothers and my sister. But yeah, I think I started to make a connection between seeing an image of a landscape and actually being in a landscape. The first series of paintings I did as, as a student in uh, my studio group was to paint this tree that was outside my house on that uh, piece of land that I had grown up on. There was a really huge pine tree and I did a whole series of paintings of that pine tree. From then on, I just kind of kept going with landscape painting. Every summer I rent a cottage in Kingsport, just near Canning. So in one direction you have the Minas Basin, and then behind you is fields and the North Mountain. Um, and at night, when the, when the sun sets, it's incredible, because you're watching the sunset over the landscape. And then suddenly everything starts to turn blue. And um, I found myself over the last few years really getting inspired by the evening landscape and how it makes you feel sort of um, introspective somehow because there's not so much distraction going on outside. All of the beach paintings, almost all of them, are of the Kejimakujik Seaside Adjunct Park, which is down on the South Shore, just past Liverpool. When I first got my driver's license, I saw this place on the map, this big chunk of green park that was right on the coast, and I thought, I wonder what that's like. So I just one day drove down with my friend, and suddenly we get to this point where the land drops down, and you can see probably for, I don't know, 10 kilometers of just bay after bay after bay of rocks and white, white, white sand. And it was just, both of us just kind of went, <gasps> Um, when I go for a hike, I usually have a backpack with me and it has uh, a bunch of watercolors and sketch pads and gouache and, um, and I try to find at least two places where I can sit. For, it, it usually takes me about an hour to do a sketch. And then in my studio I kind of go in there in the morning and look through my sketches and look through my photographs and I try to figure out what kind of mood I'm in, what kind of uh, place I might feel like painting. What I'm hoping for is just to kind of get lost in the process of painting it and then um, generally what happens is I'll paint and paint and paint uh, for the whole day and at a certain point I'll feel like maybe it's done, maybe it's okay and I'll leave the room and then I'll come back in and sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. Uh, when it isn't I will um, if I have enough time, I'll continue that day, but if it's the end of the day and I don't feel like it's there, then I usually have to just take it all off. Like I'll take a rag and just wipe the entire surface clean. And so I come in the next day still wanting to do it, but with new um, information that will help me be able to do it better, hopefully. Um, sometimes I will try for months and months, like actually uh, one painting that I did in my studio, I worked on it for a month and um, I finally gave up because I feel like sometimes that painting just doesn't want to, I don't know, I get a little bit, um, what's the word, superstitious, <laughs> where it's just like, this painting just doesn't want to be painted right now. It's time to let it go. And then there'll just be a day when for some reason it just kind of comes together and I stop. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I think it'll just be really nice to have no pressure to just paint um, whatever I feel like, which I really don't know what that will be. <laughs>